Also in Center Florida's True Crime Files tonight, we're focusing on a 14-year-old cold case involving a teenage boy who was shot and killed while playing video games. Tonight, for the very first time, we talked to his friend who was there and saw the whole thing. Fox 35's Marie Edinger has this Fox 35 exclusive. In 2010, a teenage boy was just playing video games inside that house when the Alachua County Sheriff's Office says somebody came in and shot him to death. Now, almost 14 years later, the Sheriff's Office says it has just finally figured out a piece of that puzzle, but others are still missing. I mean, when I lost him, I was so angry. It was difficult to not get emotional. It's terrible that this happened. It's even more terrible if somebody just gets away with it. Sebastian Oxenius was 16 years old. He was near the top of his class, methodical, thorough, a star wrestler, a loving brother, a kind, supportive friend. If they told me my son is going to come back, that to me is justice, but he's gone. On June 29, 2010, Oxenius and his friend Brian Hull were up late playing video games at Oxenius' home when Oxenius stepped out and Hull heard a noise. My mind didn't even think, oh, that's a gunshot. He'd been shot in the head. His father held him on the floor. And I knew he was dying. I knew it. I'm like, don't go, please. Don't let it go. But what added to the pain of that loss was never knowing why this happened or who was responsible. Investigation you know, began in over the years, uh, simply hit a brick wall. Alachua County Sheriff Emery Ganey says new evidence led them to a man with Orange County ties. Timothy Eugene Thomas was already in prison when the indictment for Oxenius's murder came down almost 14 years later. I was actually very surprised because I thought, you know, there's no way after all this time. Thomas had been arrested in Orlando in 2011 for armed robbery, kidnapping and drug charges. After he got out, court documents say he violated his parole, leading a judge in Orange County to issue a warrant for his arrest. Law enforcement officers believe that's why when a Monroe County deputy tried to stop him in a car with stolen plates in 2015, he opened fire. The deputy shot in this encounter survived thanks to a ballistics vest, and Thomas was sent to serve a life sentence in prison. Now, he's been transferred to Alachua County, accused of taking a teen's life. It's highly likely, at least possible, that he may very well be in, involved in other crimes. He's charged with burglary and with first-degree murder committed during the trafficking of drugs. The sheriff's office thinks Thomas went to the wrong house when they say he killed the teenager whose family described as perfect. I'm not going to say the word everybody used closure. No, it's not closure. Peace of mind. The sheriff's office is still looking for information on at least one other person, someone else who was in the house when Oxenius was shot, and a woman who was in the car Thomas was driving. Someone also lent Thomas the car he was in, but the sheriff's office isn't sure whether the car owner and the car passenger are one and the same. We are now on the next step of healing, and hopefully we can begin to figure out what that healing feels like. Uh, I don't know yet. The sheriff wanted to emphasize the woman they're looking for is not in any trouble at all. They just want to ask her some questions. The sheriff did also say they'll be releasing a bit more information soon. Thomas is back in court March 18th. In Gainesville, Marie Edinger, Fox 35 News.